disclosure, I am part of the EA Creator Network and have been gifted Sims packs in the past. I consider all opinions to be my own. Today, I want to build a house in The Sims, but every room is a different aesthetic and a different color. So that means we might end up with a pink goth room or a black rainbow core room. But the only one who can decide that is, of course, our wheel. For the exterior of the build, we are going to be doing hippie aesthetic. And our color is going to be orange. Okay, hear me out. I was searching like hippie home aesthetic and this picture came up. And I don't think I want to replicate this exactly, but it did give me the idea. What if I tried to do like a mushroom? I am going to regret this so fast because it's literally all round walls. I'm going to take a circular roof piece. I'm going to bring down the eaves and actually drag this up, but I want this to look like bulbous. So I'm going to hit shift C on my keyboard and it actually brings up way more customization for your roof piece. So I'm going to do kind of different variations of this to kind of make it look like a grouping of mushrooms. The reason this came to mind with the hippie aesthetic is because I specifically think of like this vibe. Ew, wait, I don't like the second floor. Wait, no, but if we take away the second floor, then we have to look at what we've done. What have we created? We could make this work though. What if we have a little underground portion? Did I get too silly? I'm adding like the gnomes and I put these little splash pad emitters on the top of the house. I'm trying to think of how how else I could make this look kind of hippie. Wait, I love this and I've actually been able to like kind of slide the legs in to the fence. I feel like maybe the patterns on this bench could kind of be fun. I think a few of these paper lanterns could be super cute on the steps. So I'm just going to raise them up with my nine key. I want this lantern to go on the second step, but it keeps snapping up. If you go and look straight down, it that actually usually stops the snapping just enough for you to get your item where you want. I feel like we should add some like hippie earthy things. So maybe we'll get a bug box out here. Oh, you know what might be perfect? I felt like the citrus tree could kind of be good. I think it could almost be kind of cute to have curtains on the side. I don't know what to do about landscaping. That's the only thing. I would love for the mushroom house to kind of look like it's in a forest because that's where you would expect to find it. Too many of these trees does not look good. I will figure out something. Just I can't figure it out right now. Here's our hippie inspired exterior. I've thrown up something of a floor plan We'll have to see if it actually is a vibe. And our aesthetic for the entry dining area is offline core. And the color is going to be pink. Okay, all right. You may be asking yourself, what is online core? And it seems that the pros at Aesthetic Wiki are doing the same. This page is a candidate for deletion. It's an aesthetic based around the reduction of digital technology, key aesthetics, gramophones, record players, old TVs, and compasses. I thought that could be kind of fun to do in The Sims. I think the general vibe I want is just kind of like a little old old school, you know? Maybe we could include our little old TV. I kind of want to add these candles somewhere, but they're so ginormous for the table and you can't size down candles. Maybe we can do this like little lantern one. I definitely need a little table over here for the record player. I'm wondering, don't we have like a gramophone looking thing? Oh my God, it literally was right in front of my eyeballs. And we have this record player. Wait, we might have to do this swatch. And I'm okay with that as long as the overwhelming majority, the overwhelming vibe is pink. It's okay. We'll survive. The vinyl crate actually does have like some pink on the top there. So I think that kind of works. The other thing I kind of wanted to add was the stack of books. And I do feel that kind of like an old timey kind of painting like this could work nicely for us. And some mail to represent actual mail and not email. I don't care if it's not pink. I want these lights. But wait, we actually do have a pink swatch. So it's actually fine. I don't know if I fully encapsulated whatever offline core claims to be, but I do like what we've done. And so now this general area is our kitchen. We are going to be doing angle core. <laughs> Can I be honest? That's only on here because I misspelled angel core, but I thought angle core would be funny. And the color we're going with is purple. We could do items that have weird angles with geometric shapes. People are always like, how'd you get that angled one? I don't know. Ask the Sims team why they put it there. Wait, I have an idea. What if it also means everything is placed at a really weird angle? Is that something I can do with the tool mod? Oh my God, it is. Is this angle core or is it falling apart core? I kind of love it. I think maybe just because I've never done anything like this. So I've never seen anything like this. Does that mean I should like angle the fridge a little bit? Wait, is this going to make everybody mad? These could look kind of cool on the wall. Everybody get your protractors out. I think maybe just doing like paint on the wall. But if we do it, we have to do this one because look at all those angles up there. I almost was thinking of putting like the cloud light in here somewhere, but no, there are no solid angles on that. This here is called the right angle sign. We could put that behind the 
sink. That's a bit cursed, if you ask me. I wasn't really sure what to do with this wall. I was thinking maybe it was somewhat included as like a little pantry. Oh, we could do a coffee bar. I don't know if that can actually be a coffee bar. We can always do the classic place the coffee maker on the island counter, size down the island counter, and use your alt key to move it back to where you want it. It might just be best to move on from this one. This is our angle core kitchen. And somehow, someway, this little pie slice is gonna be the living area. And for this, we are going to be doing Y2K aesthetic. And the color is going to be brown. Oh, brown is quite honestly the last thing I think of when I think of the Y2K aesthetic. Y2K aesthetic was kind of like a futurism vibe. I think of like blues, silvers, and pinks if you're going a little bit more into just early 2000s aesthetic. I'm trying to think, like, was it more brutalist? I guess we could put a fireplace here. Could we? Is that the vibe? Friends, I do not think this one's going to look very good. I'm like, do I add a pop of pink with this one? But that's not even very Y2K aesthetic at all. I would think more like these poofs. Those kind of remind me of like the inflatable furniture aesthetic. That feels like a pattern you might have seen in the early 2000s. These kind of like bubble planters potentially could be a little Y2K. No, because why does this kind of feel like an early 2000s aesthetic? I think maybe to save us, I have to go against what I want, which is not combining Y2K aesthetic with early 2000s aesthetic. To be quite honest, if these were different colors, I feel like it would resemble early 2000s a little bit more. This simultaneously works very well and is also the worst thing I have ever built in The Sims. The boombox is kind of like an early 2000s vibe. This is so bad. And with that, let's move on to the desk corner. The aesthetic for this little office corner is going to be ranch core. Something that makes sense, finally. And the color for this one is going to be, oh, pink. Wait, this is kind of good. We have horse ranch stuff that's pink, right? I have to do the whole floor like like that if I'm gonna do that. Oh, I was thinking we could kind of use this vibe from Horse Ranch. Do we make it cozy? Do we make it randomly carpeted? Wait, we do have the pink desk from Horse Ranch. I was worried. I forgot about that for a second. I had nothing to be worried about because we also have the pink chair. And we can do kind of like the typewriter, keep with the old timey vibe. I want to put these plants on the wall above the desk and why is the lighting so messed up? What about this from Strangerville? That could be kind of fun. Maybe Maybe instead of the plants, we can do this picture from Seasons because that looks exactly like the horse ranch world. We actually don't have a bookshelf from horse ranch that matches in with the swatches, but I have this little china cabinet, this little hutch here, and it has slots in it. So you can actually place books and we can of course make those books pink. Do we have like kind of like a cozy chair we could use? We do have a pink swatch of this one. Is it becoming too pink? Making the flooring just like the regular brown kind of helps. <laughs> what is happening in the exterior of the house right now? Now. I love how they added curved walls to the game and then just never fixed them. Oh wait, I added a cat scratch post, but I did not add any food bowl. Wait, we could just put a little food bowl right here. What happened to my bar stools? This is absurd. I already know I owe you another one of these challenges because of how messed up curved walls are making everything. But here is our ranch core office nook. This is a half bath and just a little hallway. We're gonna do these as one. What do you have for us this time, Miss Wheel? Rainbow core and the color is going going to be green. I do think for rainbow core, if there's something tagged as green that also has other colors, I'm not going to stop myself from using it. We could do this as the flooring. Is that bad? That is rainbow. The unfortunate thing is this is going to have to clip into the kitchen. Oh my God, we have the door that is tagged as green. This is where I'm kind of being a little more lenient with the challenge. Now I think our rainbow core might really be aided in what shows up for the pictures. For example, we have this that has pink and yellow yellow and red in it. I think the flooring was our biggest win here. The otter painting, and yes, it is an otter painting. I know, it looks like a sloth, it really does. Oh, I like this vibe over here. Ooh, with the movie hangout? A ton of these like polka dot lights are tagged as green. We definitely can get a little bit of rainbow going on in there. The seasonal pleated fan bunting is tagged as green. Maybe we use that as like our curtains. Absolutely need a pride flag. I might even size that up. And we have done all of this Legally. There actually aren't laws against what you're doing in your Sims builds, but if there were, we would not be breaking them. Everything we're taking, everything we're doing is from the green category. We can get rainbow plants because for what 
whatever reason. I literally could not tell you what the reason is. These are all tagged as green when there's not a single speck of green in these ones. Maybe they're a little crafty and they like making these plants. We could get cottage living plant, my favorite, my beloved. And just like the Y2K living room, we need to move on from this. <laughs> Wait a minute, why are these floating off of the wall? This isn't even like a curved portion of the wall. It's time to come downstairs. So we have a bedroom and a bathroom down here. And for the bedroom, we are going to be doing trash core. We were so close to pastel and the color will be white. I was almost thinking of doing this sort of a like one man's trash, another man's treasure rather than just filling it up with trash. For example, like the used futon. White walls are nothing new to me. So we will keep going with that. This is like a weathered side table we could use. And this is interesting because the different swatches almost have different levels of weatheredness. We have the trash or treasure chair. This unfortunately does not have a white swatch though. Maybe we can go with like the recycled material one. That's trash adjacent. And the faux fireplace has a little bit of a weathered look to it. We are somehow on our third TV of the build. The tattered cloth on this side table could kind of work. Of course, the old mirror. Our stressful lamps. Of course, we can add those. Oh, and a little bookshelf right here. Oh, we can't forget my trinkets. I love my trinket. Should we use these beat up ones instead of the recycled ones? The recycled ones did look nicer, but that is antithetical to our trash core, right? What if I put things in from Journey to Batu because Journey to Batu is trash. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking, but maybe they did find some of this stuff in the dumpster. Oh my God, it happened again. I added a light switch in the first room inside and I did not add it in a single room after that. Oh, that's good. That's good. I just realized we don't have a litter box for the cat on the first floor. Is the cat gonna use the ladder? You know what? I think we can fit one in out here. We'll do the green laser one. So it just lasers it away. I'm kind of really not mad at this basement bedroom aesthetic. Trash core, trash to treasure core. I like it. And last and perhaps least the bathroom. We are going to be doing goth core and the color we are doing for this is not planned. Black. If only the goth kit was a build kit. I think vampires could be a little bit of a help for us here, but is that goth or is that just Victorian? I'm not 100% sure. A bathtub could be fun. What if I do my classic just layering a bunch of windows on top of each other? Maybe it's like a fake window, you know, like a decal of a window. I will say it's extremely hard to see in here. The more lights I put, it does not make it better. Do we think it could look better if I add the chandelier? Wait, that actually does brighten things up a little bit. What is going going on on the ceiling. I'm just going to accept that curved walls in The Sims will always be that way. Let's make sure we have some toilet paper. Everybody's got to brush their teeth. Everybody's got to wash their hands. And then once you wash your hands, you do also have to dry your hands. I do want to spice it up just a little bit here. So the last thing I'm going to do is get rid of these walls by the bathtub. You kind of have to draw an extra room if you're going to do this in a basement. And then I'm going to take this immaculate shelf. As you can see, when it's not close to a wall, it just kind of floats there. And I'm going to raise it up with my nine key and place it over the bathtub like this. You might have to play test to see exactly where it can be placed and it still be functional. But then I'm going to grab a candle. I'm going to plop that on there. And then this is actually a journal, but I like the aesthetic of it kind of as a book. And that's going to make it on there too. I'm going to draw my wall back. And then what I have to do, you can't just like delete the walls here. What you have to do is bring this in and then it should, it should be okay. It seems like the candle lighting illuminates this space way better than the super subtle saucer light. But this is going to be it. This is going to be our gothic bathroom. If you made it this far in the video, comment your favorite aesthetic and your favorite color because I definitely owe you a better version of this challenge in the future. So maybe I'll pick from your faves, but I still had fun with this one. And if you did too, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Come on over to a Twitch stream sometime and make sure you join our discord if you haven't already. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!